Hey, good evening everybody and welcome to the video. My name is Somil, I'm a software engineer and in this video I'll be doing and showing you step-by-step -step approach for insert, update, delete and read data from uh, Delta Lakes using PySpark using a custom jar files. In my previous video, I did talk about how to use uh, interact with Delta Lake using a custom glue connector. But this video, we don't want to use glue connector, but rather we want to use a custom jar file and interact with Delta Lake. So I'm going to be doing insert, update, delete everything, complete CRUD operations on Delta Lake. So let's get started uh, with the video. So I hope this video will help you, right? Um, so the first thing that we need to do is um, in the S3, create a folder called jar. And then on the GitHub section, you will have this jar file. Uh, so in the jar file essentially drag the jar file uh, and upload it to the s3 the file name will be essentially delta hyphen core underscore 2.12 hyphen 1.0.0 that's the one that we're gonna use okay now before we uh, you know go to the aws management console on the glue and see the steps uh, i want to walk you over the code okay so so again as i said right we are going to be doing a complete crud operations on on delta lake right so uh, insert we're gonna in create a data frame object we're gonna insert into the de uh, delta lake we're gonna read it from the delta lake we're gonna update an item from the delta lake and at the end uh, we're gonna delete some item as well so let's start uh, over here on the line 2 to line 14 these are all the imports that we need for PySpark and stuff and line 16 we are importing a library called faker line 17 we are essentially importing delta tables after that over here on line 28 this is the base s3 path this is my s3 table that is glue learn beginner beginner and i'm saying that i would love to have i want to create a table called delta table this is essentially your table name whatever you like over here i'm creating a path this is the path where my delta lake would be which is essentially my base folder my s3 slash there will be a folder called delta lake and essentially inside that will be my delta lake here is a very simple class called data generator dot get data. This essentially returns some fake data. This will return the data in the format of list of tuples. Okay. On line 58 to line 62, I'm creating a spark session. And again, we are going to provide the jar file when we go to the management studio. Here we are initializing the glue job. Now this is the first step that we are doing. Here I'm specifying the list of columns. So these are all the list of columns on line 80. Here I'm creating a spark data frame on line number 81 and essentially I'm writing into the delta lake. See how I'm writing it. So this is the spark data frame. I'm using dot write operator. I'm providing dot format as delta mode as overwrite and dot save. Here is the S3 path where I want to save my data on the delta lake. So this is essentially creating a delta lake, creating a table and essentially, as I said, right, uh, inserting data into the delta lake. Reading data from Delta Lake is also very similar. You can use the word spark.read.formatdelta and then you provide the S3 path where you want to read your data from the Delta Lake. And here I'm essentially doing dot show. So this will basically print the data frame object. Updating item on Delta Lake is also very easy. So here again, I'm saying Delta tables dot for path. I'm passing in the Spark instance and the S3 path. And now I have an instance called Delta DF and I can perform my CRUD operations. Here, if you observe, I'm saying Delta DF dot update employee ID is equal to three. So I'm saying match where the employee ID is three. And if you find the match, change the name to this is this was an update on Delta Lake. Essentially, I'm putting an and uh, performing an update on the Delta Lake again. The first operation we did was we created a Delta Lake. We inserted some dummy data. We are reading the data from the Delta Lake. And now we are showing you how to update it, right? So here I'm essentially updating the data for employee three and employee four. And I'm, uh, I'm putting the name as this was an update from the Delta Lake. Okay. Over here, you can do the deletes as well. So here I'm saying Delta DF dot delete. And here I'm providing the conditions. So I want to delete the data from the Delta Lake where the employee ID is seven. Now, if you observe something carefully, I'm on, I, when I upload the data for the first time, I only have 10 records, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Once the 10 records are uploaded over here on this line, then we are reading the data. I'm just printing it on the console. Then I'm updating this data. I'm updating the data where the ID is three and ID is four, and then I'm deleting the ID seven. And at the end, I'm essentially generating the manifest file. So I could query my data using the data lake. So that's great. Now let's come to the console and walk you over the steps. This should be pretty straightforward. Come to glue. 
over here come to the job section and then essentially click on spark script editor i already have done that so i'll i'll basically work you over the steps over here copy paste the code that you have seen here again this code will essentially you know perform all the crud operations and you can read the code uh, if needed then head over to the job details section and over there uh, make sure the worker type is g1x make sure uh, number of workers are three and there is one configuration that we need to do head over to the python library and the dependent jar file and essentially put the s3 path where we uploaded the jar file again i'm gonna repeat that step if you missed that uh, on the github section you will have a jar file uh, this is the jar file delta and uh, dash core right we're gonna upload on s3 and this is the path to that jar file we're gonna provide the path in the board dependent jar path and python library jar path click on the save this job is saved and now we'll run the job so as you can see my job has started now again as i showed you prior to the video there were no folders for the delta leg and once the job is complete um, again one more thing that i want to add here i'll go to job details so since i'm using an external library called faker i need to install that right and if you observe over here i'm saying additional python modules and i'm providing the python modules called faker so two three things you have to change in the job detail is number one python library path dependent jar path and over here provide the library if you provided all these three things correctly and you run the job now the job will start this is gonna write into the delta lake update the record and then delete record number seven and now here you can see my 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 script is currently running i'm gonna refresh and if i go back to my s3 if i refresh again there are no folders here the folder should be generated shortly here you can see there is a folder called date uh, delta lake and inside that this is the table name that i gave delta table and here you can see these are all my data file or base file which is sparky and here is the log files or the metadata that the delta files basically the delta lake essentially keeps right and here you should have all your commits so i'm gonna wait for the job to complete this might take about a second or two the job is still running again these are all the thing that you want to do insert into the delta lake read from the delta lake update items in the delta lake and delete from the delta lake this is pretty much every, uh, this is pretty much what you need to know about delta lakes if you can do all the four things that is a crud operation you're all set with the delta lakes so um, again back to the management console and here you can see the job is job is successful now uh, what we can do is we can essentially create a database we're gonna query the data using athena so i'm gonna click on delete right uh, again i have shown this uh, steps in the prior video so if you haven't seen that please do watch that but again i'm gonna repeat the steps in case if you have missed it we did generate uh, a file so i'm gonna uh, create a database called sample and here i'm gonna create a crawler on the crawler i'm gonna click on the orange button i'm gonna i'm gonna say crawl click on next and then here i'm gonna click on add data source here i'll select delta lakes um then here in the in the s3 path i'm gonna give the s3 path remember the s3 path has to be here so i'm gonna click on this button copy s3 uri put this here make sure this is enabled right manifest file again the manifest file was generated by glue job as well so you don't need to um, generate that it should be fine but i'm just showing you in case if you are watching it right so i'm gonna click on next and my crawler is ready right this crawler is essentially gonna crawl over my delta lake and ident identify the schema i have started the crawler this might take about a second or two so let's be patient for the crawler to complete i'm gonna close all these tabs and my crawler is now in the running state again if you follow the steps if you have everything correctly you should be able to do everything uh, all these exercises you should be able to do with me okay so coming back to the management console i'm gonna refresh this might take about a minute or two again it's literally that easy right we we did all the perform crud operation right here we made a spark data we created a spark instance we wrote into the delta lake we read from the delta lake we update some records from the delta lake and at the end we essentially deleted employee number seven from the delta lake so as you can see one table has been created and i can head over to the athena section and then i'm gonna refresh here and here i can see a sample okay and then here i'm gonna click on preview table this should be this should allow me to query my delta lake as you know works fine i'm gonna start an order by query my delta lake 
And here you can see record number three and four has been updated and record number seven has been deleted from the Delta Lake. As you can see, this, these code snippets work absolutely fine, right? We were able to update employee three and four on the Delta Lake and we were able to delete employee number seven. And here you can see this was an update on the Delta Lake. This was an update, right? We essentially made that. I hope this video will help a lot of people, uh, especially beginners who are having a hard time working with Delta Lakes and AWS. I understand people are new um, on AWS as well. So I hope these videos will help you. Please do share the video with people whom you think, think that this will, uh, they will find um, value in this. If you have any more questions, list your question in the comment section below. And in the next upcoming videos, we are going to talk about concurrency and how we can use DynamoDB to do um, essentially locking, right? Those are some advanced topics which we are going to cover in the upcoming next uh, videos later on. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Keep smiling. Keep programming. If you have questions, you may post your question in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. And with that being said, knowledge is power and I'll see you guys next video.